Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. Today it's Bike Tech Day, or is it Bike Maintenance Day? It's one of the two. I'll tell you about the different methods available to update firmware for past and present 11 speed and 12 speed Shimano Di2 drivetrains. But I'll focus on the very convoluted process of how to go about updating the shifter lever firmware. Okay, let's get to it. In today's video, I'll start off by telling you why it's important to keep all your firmware up to date. I'll then explain why DI2 firmware updates get a bit complicated. I'll summarize the methods you can use to update firmware for all models and generations of Shimano DI2. And lastly, I'll walk you through the entire process of updating DI2 lever firmware using my 12-speed Durace DI2 as an example. Before I show you how to run a firmware update for your DI2, a bit about why this is important. While sometimes firmware updates appear to do nothing, behind the scenes they are doing something beneficial. They are there to address bug fixes or to add or improve the functionality of your various DI2 components. Running outdated firmware can also create new problems, like what I experienced myself. I was struggling to figure out why my DI2 wasn't shifting properly, thinking it might be a hardware issue. But what I should have done first is connected my DI2 to the Shimano eTube app. Had I done so, I would have immediately noticed that Shimano launched a new firmware update. And after bringing my DI2 firmware up to date, the shifting problem I was experiencing disappeared. So, lesson learned, don't neglect firmware updates. But beyond that, you'll need to keep your firmware up to date if you ever need to reach out to Shimano technical support. Because you can be sure that one of the first questions I'll ask you is, have you updated your firmware to the most recent version? The Shimano eTube Cyclist app allows you to configure and customize your DI2 components and perform firmware updates wirelessly. Well, usually, but not always. It gets a bit complicated. It depends on what model and year of DI2 you're running and what specific DI2 components you want to update. Two conditions need to be met to allow you to update firmware using the eTube app. One, your DI2 needs to be Bluetooth enabled. And two, you need a wired connection between the component you want to update and the rest of the DI2 system. Now, the good news is that if you own any of Shimano's newest 12-speed versions of DI2, GRX, Altegra, Durace, or 105, Bluetooth connectivity is built right into the rear derailleur and available right out of the box. Simple. However, all previous 11-speed generations of DI2 did not come standard with Bluetooth functionality. You had to buy Shimano's wireless DFly dongle as an add-on, which many riders don't realize. By simply adding the inline DFly unit to the drivetrain, your 11-speed DI2 now has the same functionality as the Bluetooth-enabled 12-speed versions. Actually, in a way, the older 11-speed DI2 is better than the newer 12-speed models. Which brings me to my second criteria that all your components need to be wired together. You see, 12-speed DI2 is only a partially wireless system. The rear derailleur, battery, and front derailleur can all speak to one another through wired connections, while both shifter levers operate wirelessly and are powered by coin cell batteries. All of the prior 11-speed DI2 versions operated as a 100% wired system. All components, including the shifter levers, were wired together which means that provided your 11-speed DI2 is Bluetooth enabled, you can perform all the firmware updates to all your DI2 components with the eTube app and without any special setup. With 12-speed DI2 versions, you can update firmware for your rear derailleur, front derailleur and battery, all with the eTube app without any special modifications. But you cannot do this for your shifter levers unless you first create a wired connection from your levers to the rest of your DI2 system. Yes, it's clumsy, but for now, that's the limitation we have using the eTube app. Up until now, I've only been talking about the process for updating your firmware wirelessly using the eTube app. But you can also update DI2 firmware with a wired connection to a PC on a Windows operating system. There are, however, a few special parts you need to do that, which I'll explain next. Now, before I demo how to go about updating the lever firmware using my preferred method, let me explain the various methods available to you for all the 11 and 12 speed versions of DI2. You have two basic ways to update DI2 firmware. You can do it wirelessly using the eTube Cyclist smartphone app or with a wired connection to Windows PC. 
With shifter lever firmware updates using the eTube app, you have two options for creating a closed wired system necessary for this method. You can connect the shifter to the DI2 battery or to the front derailleur. As I mentioned earlier, all 12-speed DI2 models come with Bluetooth connectivity built into the rear mech, so you can use the eTube app to update the firmware for all your DI2 components, including the levers. If using method A1, you will need the following parts to perform the update process. A Shimano cable tool, part number EW300, an extra long DI2 cable that is at least 1200 millimeters long, part number SD300, and of course the eTube app loaded onto your iOS or Android phone. If using method A2, like I'll be doing in this video, you need those parts plus a Shimano 2 port junction connector, part number JC302. For all 11 speed DI2 systems without Bluetooth connectivity, you cannot update any firmware using the eTube app. But for those of you with the DFly dongle, good news. Not only can you perform updates wirelessly, but you don't need any special parts, except of course the eTube app loaded onto your phone. Now with 12-speed DI2, you can also update firmware with a wire connection to a PC, but it's a bit more complicated and it's likely to be a lot more expensive. These are the parts you'll need. A Shimano cable tool, a long DI2 SD300 setting cable, a Shimano diagnostic PC linkage device, part number PCE02, and a PC with E2 Professional for Windows installed on it. With previous 11-speed models of DI2, wired updates are even easier as you only need two things. A DI2 battery charger slash PC linkage device, part number SM-BCR2. This came standard with all 11-speed versions, so you should have this already. And you'll need a PC with E2 project for Windows installed on it. So that's a summary of all the different firmware update methods available to you. The method I'll be demonstrating in this video is my preferred method for updating the lever firmware for all 12-speed systems. That's by using the eTube app and a wired connection between the lever and the front derailleur. Since the front derailleur is easier to access than DI2 battery, I prefer this method to the alternative A1. So you need four items to update the lever firmware this way. The Shimano cable tool, part number TL-EW300, a DI2 SD300 cable that is at least 1200 millimeters long, a two port junction connector, part number EW-JC302, and lastly of course, a cell phone with the eTube app installed on it. The first step in this complicated process is to create a wired connection between your lever and the rest of the DI2 system. We'll be working on one lever at a time. Peel back the rubber hoods, which will expose the shifter ports. DI2 105s will only have one port, but 12-speed Altegra and my Durace model both have two ports. The bottom port is a satellite shifter port, so leave that one alone. It's the upper one we'll be using, which is the SD300 shifter port. There's likely a plug in the top port. Remove it and put it somewhere safe where it won't get lost. Now with the help of your Shimano cable tool, insert one end of the DI2 cable into the upper port. Once it's fully inserted, you should hear an audible click. Next, attach the existing cable from the front derailleur and connect it to your junction connector. Next, connect the cable running from your lever to the opposite end of the junction. And that's it, you've created a wire connection between one of your levers and the rest of your DI2 system. Before running your firmware update, you need to pair your DI2 to the eTube app. Press and hold the rear derailleur function button for between 0.5 and 2 seconds to place it into pairing mode. You'll see a blue flashing LED. Now open up the eTube Cyclist app on your phone. It will take a few seconds for the app to recognize your DI2. Make sure to keep your phone right next to your bike. I had mine 10 feet away originally and it wouldn't connect. Once paired, I'll ask you if you want to change your pass key. I'll skip this and press later and it'll continue on to connect to your DI2 components. Now select update on the top menu, which will show you which components require updating. I can see that there's a new update available for my left lever and the app recognizes that there is a wired connection to this lever. So I'm all set to go. I'll select the checkbox for the left lever. 
I'll bypass the notice and select update, which then brings me this warning message, basically telling you to keep the app open on your phone, not to change screens, and to keep your phone as close as possible to your bike. I'll select update once again, and this time it'll launch the update. The firmware update process does take a few minutes to complete, so I'll speed things up. You'll be able to track the progress here. And once done, you'll get a check mark and a notice that the update was successfully completed. You can disconnect the app from your DI2, and you are now done with that one lever. To complete the firmware update for the other lever, simply repeat the process I just showed you, but of course run the cable between the front derailleur to your other lever. So that's pretty much it for how you go about updating your lever firmware on all 12-speed DI2 systems. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe as allow me to produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.